What's going on YouTube? Brandon back again on the channel Art of Fragrance. <clears throat> and uh, today I have a review uh, on a particular fragrance. Uh, this might be kind of a shock to some of you if you follow my channel, but this is actually a designer fragrance. I know, sorry. Um, but, but uh, this is a fragrance that I really, really actually do enjoy. One of the few designers that I like still. Uh, so I decided I would do a review on it for my people out there that like designer fragrances. So, today we're going to be reviewing a very popular fragrance, um, Caroline Herrera's CH Men Preve. This one here. So, let's go ahead and get into it. This one was released in 2015. Uh, I don't see a nose on here. It's classified as a leather. Um, eh. I don't know if I agree with that, but that's what it says. So, uh, the notes in this fragrance are, let's see here. Here we go. Uh, whiskey, black leather, grapefruit, pomelo, frozen lavender, sage, red thyme, cardamom, leather, tonka bean, and benzoin. So, those are the notes. Let's get into the presentation a little bit. This is the box it comes in, just a standard um, box for designer fragrance. Nothing too special. I'm a sucker for presentation, so these boxes, that uh, they're boring to me. I don't really like them. But and then the bottle is pretty cool, actually. It uh, looks like a flask. It's got the CH emblem on the front, uh, CH on the cap, sticker at the bottom. And it pops open like a flask, like that. So pretty good put a few sprays on so what do I think of this fragrance right off the top you get like this uh, sweet whiskey vibe it smells really good uh, but there's some citrus there too that's probably what the sweetness is it's like the fruity fruity whiskey smell it's pretty it smells really nice once it starts to dry down uh, the leather comes out and some of the cardamom and the tonka bean. So it's got like this underlying sweetness, but mainly what you smell is the leather and the whiskey. I really do enjoy this fragrance. Um, for a designer fragrance, the performance on this one is really, really good actually. Uh, most designer fragrances have really crappy performance on my skin for whatever reason. Uh, there's a few exceptions, but most of the time they're not very good. But this one does really, really well actually. But mainly what you get with this is the leather, and it's more of a, more of like a smooth leather, like a supple leather. It's not like animalic or dry or dusty or anything like that. So it's like a smooth leather, sweetness from the tonka bean, I'm assuming, and then like the boozy whiskey vibe. It doesn't really smell like whiskey, but it smells like, just like kind of boozy. It's really, really nice. I really enjoy this one. Um, I would say this would be appropriate on dates. That would be my f first occasion that I'd wear this for. Uh, but you could wear this casually on a night out. Uh, it does get compliments, so that's good. Um, but dates is probably the best because I think it's got somewhat of a sensual vibe. And that's why I would prefer it for dates. Casual, night out. It's pretty versatile. Uh, I probably wouldn't wear this to work, maybe because of the whiskey vibe. I don't know if that might throw people off, but I would wear it to work because I don't really care. Um, a fragrance has to, it has to really authentically smell like some sort of liquor for me not to wear it to work because mostly in fragrances, the, the liquor or the um, alcohol vibe doesn't really smell like you've been drinking. So it's not, it shouldn't be a problem. But anyway, I'm rambling. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. I got this one at Notino. Um, last I checked, which was today, it was $30 for the size, 50 mil. Uh, I believe it was 45-ish for 100 mil and 59 for the big guy. I think, it, I think it's 150 mil. So, but this one's a steal. If you don't haven't tried this, I would definitely recommend picking up this size because it's 30 bucks and 50 mils is pretty, is a good amount of juice, especially for uh, one that has good performance. So, 
But yeah, guys, <clears throat> um, check it out if you have not. I'm sure most people have. This is super hyped, um, but it's hyped for good reason. It smells really good, gets compliments, performs really well, and uh, works with the ladies. So what can you? What else can you ask for in a fragrance? So C H Men Preve. Check it out if you have not, guys. That was my review. Um, one of my favorite designer fragrances um, still. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I have another review coming up, uh, also sponsored by Notino. Uh, it's a fragrance that oh, you'll see in the next video. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, oh, yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm leaving my link down below. And uh, I will catch you guys. Oh, I will also leave a link down below to purchase this um, CH Men Preve on the low, 30 bucks for 50 mils, which is a steal. So, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next video.